principle that comes out of my uh, Kempo concept course that's on my website. And it also is going to lead us into the Boulder seminar that I just did. I did a seminar in Colorado three months ago, and this question actually pertains, uh, the answer pertains to the question. Now, it's for a traditional technique, a very important technique, uh, shielding mace, as some instructors call it, shielding hammer is what other instructors call it. Nevertheless, the, 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 the technique goes like this. He steps in with the left, uh, yeah, it's gonna happen with the left foot punch. Hey, I'm gonna step back, block, hammer, and elbow. Now, let's just start over there for a second. Go ahead. I step back and block. There's a lot of little principles here, but this is the only one that I want to draw out of my Kempo Concept course. There's 20 major principles in the first DVD alone to answer the same question I had, and it's on my upcoming Boulder, uh, Colorado seminar 2013 that should be out any month. Now, hammer, elbow. No problem. Now, I had a question. Well, who punches with the left hand? What if they punch with the right? Now we're taking it to phase two. Phase one is point of reference. No, no, stay the same way. Phase two is what if. Okay, so let's take a look at the technique first and see if the answer isn't, doesn't lie within it and that we can't draw and tease out this principle. That's right. Okay, I am doing a what motion. It's a what motion, everybody. It's very good. It's a big circle, isn't it? All right. So I think you know I'm going with this. The principle mean, or the principle states, if I expand my circle, I have a what? I have a, a struck. Now that young lady, uh, who we all know out there, Alex, asked, well, you know, who punches with the left? What if they punch with the right? Well, if we expand it, we have a strike. But if we contract a circle and he punches, we have a what? Lock. All right. So, it depends on if we want to expand the circle to apply this technique to them or shrink the circle to defend ourselves. Just follow the pattern and alter the circle, you're fine. So the principle is, again, after we block, if I expand the circle, I have my strike. If I, even if it's a straight punch, if I contract it, say, I have a block. By the way, let's follow the pattern. One, two, ooh, he's sweaty. One, punch, two, see, just follow the same pattern. So the lesson I'm just trying to draw out of this simple, simple technique, and there's many other ones. Remember, all that I show is not all that I know. But I wanted to make this video for uh, uh, my product and the internet, that it's the principles that should govern motion. And this technique, the principle I'm trying to teach you is expand, contract. And this can apply so many ways. I used to have a martial artist who was hard to work with in terms of doing techniques because when he blocked, even if he did an inward block, he would, he would reach out. And he always hit everybody <laughs> while he was blocking. There's another little tip for you. If that's a punch, I can block it, right? Oh, it's tough hitting him because he's very sweaty. <laughs> but if I expand my circle, I did a what? I'm just trying to touch him, but I could have done an eye rake. Am I right? Yeah. So uh, sometimes you instructors that are teaching out there, martial artists, you might have a student that has an awkward way of blocking. They tend to reach out instead of stay tight, which you know we teach to stay inside the aura or stay inside your zone. They, they block out like this. And as, let's say that punch is coming in, it's not to come with the punch, as they block out, they, they come across and hit. And that's an example of expanding the circle. And that's a tip for you. You can marry these together. You don't have to divorce them, okay? If he comes in with a, a hook punch with that, I can, as he's coming into my discipline, see, I can still come across, move your head. <laughs> he's trying to get out of there. He knows it's coming. You can still come across and block, can't you? Write this down. If you expand a circle, you have the strike. If you contract it, you have your defense. Offense, expand, defense, contract. Basic rule gives you uh, something to follow. And remember, it's our principles of Kempo that dis makes it distinguished. It's the principles of the, the science we apply to it that makes it unique. All right? And if this principle is new to you, or you enjoyed this, I have a three-volume set 
that has many other principles on there. And if you want to continue and complete your training of basic rules of thumb that you must adhere to, uh, to, to, to keep yourself safe in combat, please go to my website, check out uh, Kempo Concepts, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. And this principle's on there. Uh, actually, I gave you a much better explanation of this principle than is on the tape, but there's many other ones. Okay, thanks for kind of helping me, and we'll see you on the next tip.